Welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Demani Group. My name is Andrew Lowe, I'm an industrial designer with the Demani Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at the fillet tool in SOLIDWORKS and ways we can build better fillets on our models. In this installment, we'll take a look at tricky fillet intersections. So in this model, I have, I want to have a small fillet along this edge and this edge, but I want the fillet to look the same size. I also need to have a fillet along this edge and this edge. So I have four fillets coming together at this one vertice, and I, it's going to be tricky to A, add the fillets, and B, manage them. So there's two ways I can go about modeling this scenario. I can use the standard fillet tools in SOLIDWORKS. However, this doesn't maintain the light line I want to have. I want to have this fillet look the same size along its length, even though its radius will change. However, if I create the fillets using some workaround techniques and a blended transition of the fillets, I get a much cleaner result and I'm better able to control exactly what I want the geometry to look like. So let's take a look at how I can add fillets to the model without, or by just using the fillet tool. So if I were to fillet this, let's say I wanted a 50 thousandths fillet on these two edges, note that I'm unable to add the fillet. The fillet says a common corner of the selected face is too complex. And that's this here. It doesn't know how to bridge these two different uh, faces. So the fillet order is important here. I can apply the big fillet here, and then finally fill at the corner. What this has done is smoothed out that sharp vertice we had before. And now the standard fillet will be able to be applied. So note that the 50 thousandths fillet looks larger here than it does here. And the reason being is that the angle between these two faces is different between the angle of these two faces, so the fillet will look visually smaller. I want it to look the same size. I'm not in uh, particular about the size of the fillet along its length. So let's suppress this and look at a different way of adding these fillets. First thing I'm going to do is extrude a block into the model. Now here I've already gone through and added fillets, but I'll start with this block as with these dimensions is driven. And thus I'll start with the block a little bit oversized and then finally dial it in to its final size. The point of the block is to add new faces in the model which will manually stop the fillets exactly where I want them. With the block in the model I can now add the fillets in any order I desire because that complex corner is just removed from the model. This fillet is a constant width or cord width fillet, so I know that it's measured by its cord, not its radius. And then finally when I add this fillet, so it's applied its cord width fillet at the same 50 thousandths value, however it visually looks the same size as this fillet even though the angle the faces it's applied between are different. I can continue adding some fillets to the model to get to this result. Now I still have this block in the model and I'm going to need to manually create uh, the transition here, this uh, tricky corner where these four different fillets are coming together. So what I've done here is on this face I've created a split line. And it looks like these are almost straight together but they're not quite so that's why I've added a spline here and made the spline tangent to this face or edge and tangent to this edge. I can now use a split line to define this face where I had one big face I now have two smaller faces. So now I'm going to use delete face to remove those faces from the model and I now have a surface body instead of a solid body. So I'm going to grab the fill surface here and I'll right click select open loop to grab all those edges and I want to apply tangency to all of the edges. So I'll apply tangent merge result to merge it in the model try to form solid to complete the shape. So I get this result and it's not what I wanted. I have lots of lumps in my surface. I have this weird pocket down here. It almost looks like someone kicked in my car door. Not entirely happy with this surface fill. So let's suppress this. And the reason I'm getting this result is because I'm trying to ask surface fill to do too much. It doesn't like wrapping around this tight geometry but also building a patch that satisfies this softer geometry in this area. So I can help out surface fill, and the way I'm going to do that is I've created a 3D sketch, 
and I created a spline between this edge and this edge and made them tangent. So I'm almost making a rail that's that third edge of the surface. So here I've created a boundary surface and let's just sketch create that again. So in direction one I can go from this edge to the spline. If my connectors are flipped I can go right click flip connector and now I can pick these two edges in direction two. Apply tangency to the faces. Sometimes the preview goes away don't be concerned, it's just a bug in SolidWorks. Apply tangency to all the edges, and there's my new surface. So I now need to knit this in the model, and I'll use surface knit to do that. And finally, I have a much better transition for surface fill to try and patch. It's not trying to do all of that work. So if you do see uh, surface fills in this kind of work that uh, aren't living up to your expectations, you might be asking surface fill to do too much. So in that case, you'll just want to uh, maybe help surface fill out by using boundary surface or the surface loft tool to cr manually create some of that uh, work or surfaces before relying on surface fill to do the rest. So in creating this kind of geometry, I'm going to create a block in the model that I can use to manually stop the fillets. I'm going to add fillets to the model. When the fillets are added, I'll use the split line and delete face to open up an area for the blend to live in. I'll create a spline in a 3D sketch. Use that to create a boundary surface that finishes the light line, creates that tight fillet. And finally, I'll complete the corner with the surface fill tool. So I hope you enjoyed this installment of Will It Fill It? Please follow the Demonic Group on LinkedIn and YouTube where we'll be announcing new videos.